Hey everybody, it's Officer Bosco. Welcome back to Police 10A Talk. Uh, this is going to be part due of uh, the uh, patrol rifle video that we did on the first uh, the um, on the uh, series uh, patrol rifles. Uh, the first one we basically went over the uh, four main operating systems that you're going to run into, <coughs> which we have those rifles here again today. Um, basically, what we're going to be going over, we're going to be going a little bit more into the weeds, uh, shall we say? I won't get too try to get too deep into it um, because now we're going to be talking about barrel. And there just went a butterfly. Okay, uh, gotta love, gotta love Fort Wilson. Anyway, um, basically what we're gonna be going over is uh, basically the 5.56 five, and the 2.23. Uh, the first question you always, that, that some people don't know is the 5.56 five, and the 2.23 the same round. Technically they're the same, but they're not. Okay, the 2.23 is a lower power round. A 5.56 five, is loaded to a higher chamber pressure. If it says 5.56, five, that means it's rated for NATO pressure, which means it's a higher pressure round. Any ammo you buy, like if you buy 9mm NATO, that means it's going to be loaded, loaded to what we call a higher chamber pressure. Okay. Um, the 5.56 five, also projectile is slightly different. Okay, now here's where you get in the weeds a little bit. If you have a 5.56 five, rifle, which chambered in 5.56, five, it will shoot 5.56 five, five, and 2.23. Two, okay. If you have a rifle that's chambered in 223, it will not fire 556, five, or you're going to have a problem because, like I said, the chamber pressures are, are higher and the bullets are slightly different, and the throat the throat of your chamber has to be has to be able to take the 556 five, round. Okay, so that's where we kind of get in the weeds a little bit. They're similar, but they're not really the same. The 223 is more of a hunting round. That's why it's loaded to a, loaded to a lower pressure. Okay, now you do have something every once in a while, which I'll throw it in there. You'll see something chambered in what is known as a 223 Wild. Okay, 223 Wild will shoot 556 five, and 223. And supposedly it, it came up, a guy named Bill Wild came up with it, but it's kind of a intermediate chambering, but it'll take both. But, but like I said, a 556 five, will shoot 556 five, and a 223. If it's a 223, do not fire 556 five, ammo in because eventually you're going to have a problem. You're probably going to blow, blow an extractor. You're probably going to cause some damage to the weapon because it's not, if it's chambered for 223, the chamber pressure, it can't take it. Okay, now normally on a rifle, the easiest way to tell, like on my beautiful set me, um, I see through a C93 is right there. It says caliber 556, okay, 556 millimeter. Okay, sometimes you'll see it on the barrel. Generally, you're going to see it on the receiver. Okay, sometimes I've even seen it on the bolt itself. But you'll see it there. Like I said, if it says 223, it's not going to fire a 556. Five, My recommendation get a rifle that's chambered in 556. Five, that way you can shoot both and you don't have that issue. Okay? And you can shoot 223 all day long and 556. Five, Generally, like I said, it's going to be on your receiver. Sometime I've even seen it on the barrel. Okay? So make sure you check before. Okay? Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is bullet weights. Okay? Essentially, for 5.56, five, there's four main bullet weights you're going to run into. Okay, and this chart kind of goes into a little bit. The three, the four main ones you're going to run into are 55 grain, 62, 69, and 77. Those are the four main bullet rates, uh, bullet weights you're going to go into. Okay, it's important that you know what rifling your your uh, bullet twist rate your the rifle has depending on what ammo you have. Okay, see my C93 is a one and nine twist okay and luckily for me when i bought the rifle we issue 55 grain bullets which is perfect for the one and nine twist okay now what do, what do you what do i mean by twist rate okay you're gonna you're gonna see three main twist rates for five five six rifles you're gonna see what's known as a one and nine a one and eight which is not quite as prevalent and you have what is known as a one and seven okay now what that means is one and nine means it's for every one inch that barrel, that that bullet is going to rotate nine times, or it's going to twist nine times. Okay, if it's one and eight, that means for every one inch, it's going to it's going to twist it eight times. One and seven, it's going to do a one for that one inch seven times. Okay, now why is that important? Okay, because the five five six is a light round, it's dependent on velocity for it to work effectively. Okay, that's why twist rate, despite what people tell you, is very important. That's why you got to kind of know, like in my department. I knew a one to nine inch twist worked good with the 55 grain, which is what we carry. Okay, but like I said, it's very important to twist rate. Now the one and eight, other than Ruger, I don't know too many companies that actually do the one and eight. It's considered kind of an intermediate between these two, which are the most popular, the one and nine and one and seven. Okay, and I know we're getting in the weeds here. I try try to explain as best I can, but it's it's 
if you don't know a lot about guns, it's kind of confusing sometimes when you talk about some of the stuff. Okay. And the twist rate, like I said, is very important for whatever ammo. So if you're a police officer and you're able to buy your own patrol rifle, make sure you know what ammo your, your department issues. Okay, if it's a 55 or 62, you probably want to stick for the one and nine one one and nine inch twist. If it's a 69 or 77, you might want to stick more towards the one and seven. The lighter bullet needs to rotate more to stabilize. The heavier bullet does not. Okay. Um, barrel length is also very important too. Most of these rifles here are 16 inch barrels. Um, you know, a lot of people that like going to the SBRs, the short barrel rifles. I recommend against that for patrol because a 16 inch barrel it gives you perfect amount of velocity off that round. The more you cut that barrel, the less velocity you have on that round. Okay, and like I said, with the 5.56, for it to be effective, you need twist, you need velocity on that round to make it effective. When you go to a short barrel rifle, you cut a lot of, a lot of the um, oomph off the round, basically. You cut a lot of velocity down, which means you cut the terminal, the terminal velocity of the round down. Okay. Not to mention the range. Yeah, and the range. 16.25 inch barrel, which is what this is. At 100 yards, you should be able to get a two inch group at 100 yards with any decent rifle, basically. Um, but basically, that's that's kind of a short short little version on 5.56. Now, when you're talking about a 308 rifle, they're usually a one in 10 or one in 12 inch twist, but since they're heavier rounds, they're not as dependent on velocity for terminal ballistics or for them to be effective. So, but with 5.56, it's a little bit more complicated for it to work okay and you know like I said you know check with your department first okay um, one we go over real quick just just because I didn't get in the last video is basically accessories for the rifle like I said if you're a cop check with your department uh, my general two things that I like on a rifle is to have a sling and to have a light on it to me that is essential for a patrol rifle okay optics I'm neither here nor there I love my hollow sun which we did a review on that um, some departments actually will not let you carry optics on your gun. Some departments actually forbid that. You have to have iron sights only on it. Um, but essentially to me, that's two, thing, two, two things you essentially need on a good patrol rifle is a sling and you need a flashlight. Okay. Uh, but essentially, like I said, this is kind of an in-weeds video when you're talking about velocities and bolt length. and you know. So hopefully if you got any questions, definitely Send us some questions in the comment. We'll try to answer you the best I can. Or if we need to do a follow-up video, if we have a bunch of questions, we'll try to do it. Uh, but essentially, this is going to be the Part 2 patrol rifle. And this is basically going to be, like I said, talking about the barrel lengths, twist rates, and bolt weights. So hopefully I didn't get it too in the weeds for anybody. Because like I said, it's a lot more information than people think. You know, if you want to actually get something that works and works well for what you're using it for. So anyways, uh, this is Officer Bosco. Welcome back to Police 10A Talk. Give us a like, subscribe. Remember to be safe and watch your six.